Howdy, it's Kyle talking about various agricultural products in a top state that produces each one. There really isn't a database like this online that goes over a long list of crops talking about the individual states. You could look at agricultural of each state and it will talk about the crops grown there or you can go to the individual associations for each type of ag product and they'll talk about which states are the top ones but not usually with numbers or percentages. Each state calculates things differently. So I went through just years of data looking at where agricultural products come from to come up with this list. And I didn't go with just any one particular year because there could be a, a drought or an ice storm or a hurricane or whatever destroy or affect crops for a specific year. So I look at overall general trends of the past 10 years or so to see which states produce the most of which types of crops. So this will be a bit of a long list, kind of a rapid fire type thing without much commentary, but let's take a look at the top agricultural products and the states where they come from. Starting off with almonds, this will be one of several where California is really the only state in the country that grows them at all commercially. Washington is known for its apples, and it is indeed the number one state in the country with about two thirds of apples coming from there, with Michigan and New York being second and third, but a decent amount behind Washington. Apricots are largely grown to be dried or turned into jam, and about 80% come from California. Most of the rest come from Washington. Artichokes are another crop where California is the only state that grows them, and in fact, they're all pretty much grown within one county. For asparagus, Michigan is the nation's leader, with Washington, California, and New Jersey also growing quite a bit. For avocados, approximately 95% are grown in California. The rest are mostly in Florida and a little bit in Hawaii. Barley is a grain, and most grains can handle colder climates, and the top states for barley are Idaho, Montana, and North Dakota. For dry beans, North Dakota is number one, with Michigan and Nebraska not being too far behind. For green snap beans, the top state is Wisconsin, with New York and Michigan also being large suppliers. The majority of the blackberries in the U.S. come from Oregon, and most of the rest are coming from Washington and California. Annual blueberry output varies more than just about any other crop, but Washington, Georgia, Michigan, Oregon, California, and New Jersey are the largest suppliers of blueberries. Like many other green vegetables, California is the largest producer of broccoli with about 90%, and most of the rest of the broccoli comes from Arizona, Texas, and Oregon. Brussels sprouts, another green vegetable where about 95% comes from California, most of the rest from Arizona. For cabbage, approximately 50% of it comes from California, with New York and Florida having similar numbers in second and third. California is also the largest grower of cantaloupe, about two-thirds come from there. Most of the rest are coming from Arizona, Georgia, and Florida. Carrots, a ground vegetable, come largely from California, with about 80% coming from there, but Washington, Wisconsin, and Michigan also grow many carrots. About 90% of all cauliflower in the U.S. comes from California, and Arizona supplies most of the rest. And celery is it another green vegetable where California is the largest producer. Over 90% comes from California and most of the rest comes from Michigan. For cherries, the largest producer is Washington with more than half coming from there. And California, Oregon, and Michigan are two, three, and four. But Michigan is number one for tart cherries. For chickpeas, also referred to as garbanzo beans, the largest producer is Montana with second and third being Washington and Idaho. For chilies, New Mexico is the largest producer with about two-thirds coming from there, with two and three being California and Texas. Because it's a tropical plant, Hawaii is the only state in the country that grows coffee. So if you know Kona coffee, that's from Hawaii. In terms of corn, the overall corn output, Iowa is the leader, followed by Illinois and Nebraska. However, most of that is feed corn. For sweet corn, the largest producers are Washington and Minnesota, but Wisconsin not far behind. Also for Wisconsin, it's the largest producer of cranberries in the U.S. with more than half coming from there. Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Oregon are the other top producers. For cucumbers, Michigan and Florida are at the top with similar numbers. North Carolina, Georgia, and California are a distant third, fourth, and fifth. Dates are a popular delicacy in the Middle East and they grow in the deserts here as well. California produces 70% and Arizona the other 30%. For eggplant, the largest producer is New Jersey, with second and third being California and Florida. Figs, whether fresh or dried or any of the varieties, California is the only state that grows them commercially. For garlic, about one ranch in California provides about 50% of all the garlic in the U.S., with most of the rest coming from Oregon and Nevada. For grapes, whether they be the table grapes you eat or ones turned into wine, California is the largest producer with about 95% of the total grape output. For grapefruit, it's pretty even, about one-third each, Florida, California, and Texas. 
For hazelnuts, Oregon is the only state in the country that grows them commercially. They're all coming from there. For honey, it's an interesting one, two, three, North Dakota, South Dakota, and California. Many of the hives begin in the spring and summer in the Dakotas, and then they are moved to California for the winters. For hops, an important component of beer, Washington provides about two-thirds of the national output, and a lot of the rest comes from Idaho and Oregon. California is the only state in the country that grows kiwi fruit commercially. For lemons, California produces over 90%, with all of the rest coming from Arizona and Florida. For lettuce, about 70% comes from California, and Arizona grows most of the rest. So you've probably noticed that many of the green vegetables come from California and Arizona, and that's because these things need to be growing in the winter, so you can go to the store and get green leafy vegetables fresh any time of the year. But there's no water there. Surprisingly enough, there aren't many limes that come from the U.S. All of them that are American come from Florida, but it's a very small number. Macadamias being tropical are only grown in Hawaii. 100% come from there. Although most macadamias you find in the U.S. are imported from other countries. For maple syrup, little old Vermont produces about 50%, with second and third being New York and Maine. For mushrooms, about two-thirds of all of them in the U.S. come from one county in Pennsylvania. But it's a pretty interesting read on that one area that grows most of the mushrooms in the U.S. You don't hear too much about mustard being grown in the U.S., but Idaho is the number one state for it. Montana and North Dakota are second and third. Nectarines are another fruit where the only state growing them commercially is California. Oats are an important grain coming largely from the Great Plains, with South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, and Wisconsin all being fairly equal, sitting at the top one through four. For olives, California is the only state that grows them commercially, and it's also the only state that has American-made olive oil. Onions, California, Oregon, and Washington are all fairly similar numbers at the top. Georgia is seventh in onions, but it's the largest producer of sweet onions. For oranges, California and Florida are pretty even, but most California oranges are grown to be eaten. Most Florida oranges are grown to be turned into orange juice. Papayas, another tropical fruit that only Hawaii can grow, 100% come from there. For parsley, approximately 40% comes from California, with New Jersey and Texas being second and third. For peaches, more than 50% come from California, with South Carolina, New Jersey, and Georgia being second, third, and fourth. But despite Georgia being the peach state, it's actually a distant fourth. But never fear Georgia because you are the number one state for peanuts. Approximately half come from there, with most of the rest coming from Alabama, Florida, Texas, and North Carolina. For pears, a fruit similar to apples, they grow primarily in the same area, with Washington producing about 50%, and most of the rest coming from Oregon and California. Peas are another crop that come primarily from North Dakota, about 40%, with Montana and Washington being second and third. Georgia might not actually be the peach state, but it is number one for peanuts and pecans, or pecans, with New Mexico and Arizona being second and third. For bell peppers, California and Florida grow about one third each, with New Mexico, Georgia, and New Jersey being three, four, and five. For persimmons, California grows the majority, but most of the rest come from Florida, a quick note on pineapple, Hawaii does grow pineapple, but it's very little, and it's mostly just for local consumption. Pistachios are another tree nut where California is the only state in the country that grows them commercially. For plums, which are eaten fresh or turned into jam or dried into prunes, California is the only state that grows them commercially. Pomegranates are another fruit primarily grown in California with more than 90% coming from there. Idaho is known for being the potato state, and it is in fact number one in potatoes. I couldn't really see it broken down by russets, reds, and whites, but Idaho is number one, then Washington, Wisconsin, and North Dakota. For pumpkins, Illinois is the largest producer with over 50%, including almost all of the processed pumpkin. Radishes are another vegetable where California is the leader, with Florida and Wisconsin being second and third. And raspberries are another fruit that are primarily grown in California. About 90% come from there. Most of the rest come from Washington. For rice, Arkansas is the big leader with about 50% coming from there. Louisiana and California have similar numbers, but are a distant second and third. For rye, Oklahoma produces about 75% of the crop, with most of the rest coming from Georgia. Sorghum has a lot of uses from cereals to animal feed, and Kansas is the largest producer with over 50% coming from there. For soybeans, Illinois and Iowa are the leaders with similar numbers. A distant third and fourth are Minnesota and Indiana with similar numbers. 
Spinach, another green leafy vegetable that comes primarily from California and most of the rest comes from Arizona during the winter. First squash, it was really hard to get the numbers broken down, but Michigan is the leader for squash with California and New York being second and third. But in terms of breaking it down by types of squash, I couldn't find that info. Strawberries are another berry that prefer the west coast. 90% come from California, most of the rest come from Florida. But Florida does produce the larger number of the winter crop of strawberries. For sugar beets, Minnesota is a leading producer. Idaho, North Dakota, and Michigan are two, three, and four. For sugar cane, Florida and Louisiana are pretty similar at the top one, two. Texas is the only other state that produces it at third. For sweet potatoes, almost half come from North Carolina with California and Mississippi being second and third. For fresh tomatoes, Florida and California are pretty even one, two. Although California does produce over 90% of the processed tomato. Walnuts are another tree nut that only grows in California commercially. Watermelon was actually a difficult number to come by because some states just lump melons together, but for watermelon, Florida, Georgia, California, and Texas are the top four states. For wheat, Kansas has traditionally been number one, although right now they're in the middle of a drought and they've had some wildfire issues, so North Dakota is number one right now, but usually it's Kansas. Washington and Montana are also very important for wheat. And by no means is this an exhaustive list of things that farmers grow in the U.S., but I did want to highlight some of the most widely grown crops. So overall, California being number one is certainly no surprise, but the number of times that Michigan and New Jersey showed up on this list is pretty surprising. So it just goes to show with one giant country with a bunch of different climates, we need the entire country to grow the full range of crops that we need. So overall, I don't think agriculture ever gets the attention it deserves, so I wanted to highlight the geography of agricultural production in the U.S. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up to let me know you approve and subscribe to this channel if you're interested in learning more about geography from a nerdy perspective. But yeah, thanks for watching. Geography King, signing out. I'd like to give a special thanks to my superior patrons for their support. If you're interested in purchasing a pin for the viewer wall map or just to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page with the link in the description. And as always, thank you very much.